When people talk about farming revolutions, few expect cotton fields to take center stage. Yet China's cotton picker has become the spark for one of the biggest transformations in agriculture today. In Xinjiang, technology is pushing cotton farming to levels unseen before, and machines are doing what once took hundreds of hands. Behind every harvest lies a story. Stay with me as we explore how this single machine has shaken the balance of labor, economy, and innovation. And before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell for more updates on the latest breakthroughs in cutting-edge technology. The CP690 stands out as the world's most efficient harvester. It compresses cotton into two-ton bales while still in the field. Each bale is waterproof, non-flammable, and free from common impurities. Four hectares can be harvested in just one hour, a job that once took 200 people an entire day. More than 200 of these machines now operate across Xinjiang, one of China's main cotton belts. This level of efficiency highlights how smart cotton-picking machines are rewriting the rules of modern farming. In Yuli County, one of Xinjiang's leading producers, technology has become central to cotton farming. Years of investment have raised planting methods, leading to stronger yields and steadier income. Harvest time no longer depends on endless rows of workers. Instead, fields echo with the steady sound of machines. Modern equipment, including large harvesters, ensures that quality cotton is collected quickly and efficiently. This shift is not only about saving labor but also about making farming more sustainable for the future. Local cooperatives have adopted unified management, allowing farmers to share resources and lower costs. Precision irrigation systems now help conserve water while keeping crops healthy. Together, these changes make Yuli a model for how modern agriculture can thrive in harsh climates. Back in 2014, only a third of Xinjiang's cotton fields were mechanized. By 2023, more than 85% had adopted machines. Annual output reached 5.112 million tons, nearly 40% higher than in 2014. This transformation has reduced dependence on manual labor while strengthening the region's role in national agriculture. Intelligent cotton farming has turned Xinjiang into the country's most advanced cotton hub, where efficiency and scale set the pace for others to follow. Shea County, located near the Taklamakan Desert, grows cotton on about 130,000 hectares. Its dry climate and long hours of sun create the perfect environment for quality crops. More than 80% of the harvest is handled by machines. Ten harvesters can clear over 120 hectares in just a single day. Water-saving irrigation reduces yearly use by thousands of cubic meters, while nearby forests are carefully protected. Locally developed cotton pickers, costing far less than imported ones, have cut expenses for farmers. Cooperatives across 150 villages now oversee production, ensuring that efficiency benefits both land and community. Local training programs have also helped farmers adapt to new technology with ease. Storage and transport networks have been upgraded to move cotton faster to major markets. These combined efforts have turned Shea into one of Xinjiang's most reliable cotton bases. This year, Xinjiang's farmers are harvesting cotton from more than 2 million hectares. 
Machines handle most of the work, moving the fiber quickly to ginning plants. To support farmers, the government guarantees a minimum price of 18,600 yuan per ton. Subsidies cover not only crop sales but also machinery purchases, including partial refunds for harvesters. For many rural families, these policies make cotton farming a reliable source of income. Incentives tied to machinery ensure both stability and long-term motivation to keep planting. Manas County, with its 50,000 hectares of farmland, is alive with mechanical harvesters. Once heavily dependent on labor, these fields now rely on technology to complete the harvest. Xinjiang contributes more than 80% of China's total cotton, and Manas plays a vital part in that figure. The shift to mechanization has lifted efficiency while easing labor demands. The region continues to strengthen its role as the most important cotton-growing area in the nation. Midway through the season, Xinjiang had already harvested more than half its cotton. Much of this speed comes from advanced six-row machines that handle picking, compressing, and packaging in a matter of minutes. Each unit can manage about 33 hectares in one day. The mass rollout of these machines ended foreign dominance of high-end cotton pickers in China. Supported by the Beidou satellite system, the harvest now runs with remarkable accuracy and speed. These machines are symbols of both progress and independence. More than 7,000 harvesters have been sent into Xinjiang's fields this season. Their role is simple, to replace slow manual labor and ensure timely collection of cotton. Mechanization has boosted efficiency across vast farmland, allowing farmers to focus on maintaining steady output. With machines now central to production, Xinjiang strengthens its reputation as the country's most important cotton base. China produces over one-fifth of the world's cotton, with Xinjiang accounting for most of that output. This global dominance has attracted attention, not always positive. Some nations criticize labor practices, claims Beijing rejects, saying cotton farming is linked to poverty reduction and rural development. Regardless of the debate, the region remains a cornerstone of global cotton supply, driven by large-scale mechanization and modern farm systems. In Wusu City, Cotton pickers are collecting, pressing, and storing crops with over 95% efficiency. Xinjiang has nearly 2.5 million hectares under cotton, with 85% already mechanized. Unified management has boosted output and recovery rates. At the same time, national markets, banks, and processors are ramping up efforts to handle the crop. Xinjiang's position is now global, producing close to 20% of the world's cotton. This scale of production has turned the region into a critical supplier for both domestic textile mills and international trade. The reliance on machines has eased labor shortages while ensuring more consistent quality.
Farmers now focus on crop planning and resource management rather than manual harvesting. Factories in Xinjiang are operating around the clock to meet demand for new machines. China Railway Construction Heavy Industries local branch is among those working overtime. Xinjiang leads the country in output, yield and planting area, creating constant demand for modern harvesters. Manufacturers are scaling production to make sure farmers have access to the tools they need. The rising use of machines shows how central mechanization has become to cotton farming in the region.